Hello. Taurus, because I nearly forgot what your name was. How are you doing, guys? This is your December reading for this current year. And then I'm going to do the year's reading for everyone for next year. It'll just be the entire 12 months. So don't worry. I'll try to go in as much detail as I can. Because people be nosy about the future. If they believe in a future. Or is it just the possibility that people worry about? I can never really tell. Anyway, we're doing your reading today. And I hope you guys are going to have a good Christmas and New Year's by the time I see you next time after the next reading. Um, here you are feeling a little out of place. But I don't you're still trying to communicate correctively and be creative with your emotions and your passions. Even though you're kind of like needing to learn something here, you're still quite stoic about it all. Right, right. Oh, I need to write down the titles. I almost forgot. Like, I always forget what the titles are to the videos because, like, I, I forget everything really quick. Tell you what, chill out with the music. I'll be right back. I'm back just in time. Okay. Okay. No whammies, Taurus. Let's get started with your reading for right now. And let's see where this goes. It looks like you're dealing with some issues of the past, too. Beginning theme is the chariot in reverse, possibly cancer. Someone is very much in their head, keeping their guard up and hitting people in the shins with their wheels. Someone is out of balance. Someone is guarding themselves from that out of balance feeling. Someone might not even feel like themselves, right? Now, we got like someone with the six of cups reversed. Maybe there were some issues in the past or even childhood trauma. Or a, child, a bad childhood memory that's come into play here. Someone's like looking back at past situations that they didn't like very well. And it might be keeping a little bit more bound than what they um, realize, right? Ooh, there it is, twice. <laughs> like, I'm hoping that they want to get out of this. Don't give me advice for that, but, you know, you never know. But, um, yeah, like, they feel like they might not be able to get out of this situation. And then with the world reverse, some cycle didn't complete correctly when it came to a love situation or just some sort of connection with somebody. Could be a Gemini that's disgruntled or doesn't feel like... I don't know. But yeah, like, the cycle didn't end correctly with this pairing. And that's keeping someone feeling like there is definitely some issues underlying here. Or maybe a cycle didn't complete the way it was supposed to. And over here, someone's really dealing with their emotions in their head and is torturing them about them. And they need to, like, weigh out their options. Like, they're sitting there being like, should I take that boat or this boat? That pinnacle or this pinnacle? It's just like... An endless cycle almost. And what's going against them is they're looking for a reason to stay without having to work on anything. Like yourselves, possibly, because that's Earth um, energy right there, Taurus. Wouldn't surprise. Well, no, because it's more like Virgo's card, isn't it? But it's like, why would you. Like, are you, are you trying to get a situation to work that isn't going to? Like, are you looking for a reason to stay in a situation you shouldn't be staying in? You know? Then we have the Page of Wands up here, where someone might be traveling with news and someone's afraid of that. 
they don't have a decision. <laughs> like someone wants to travel, but they haven't decided yet. And then here is the Eight of Wands. Someone's waiting for some information and swift movement. And that possibly is coming with the Wheel of Fortune. Someone's waiting to see if they should cut down those wands. And they're looking for that bird to deliver it for them. They're waiting for this message, but there's still no... They're afraid that like there isn't going to be one and no one's come to a decision. But like fate is kickstarting something in to make that happen. Right? Okay. Ending theme. King of Pentacles. Looks like he is trying to keep himself a little bit safer than what's actually going on. Like someone's still trying to do that whole provider thing, but they're shelling themselves up emotionally, I feel like, with the chariot. And they're, and they're a little bit out of balance because of it. And now someone's got some hesitation going on over here when it comes to a future sense of being, I feel like. Like, this, like, this is not Aries' card to me. This is, like, clean slate. Like, it could be any of the Zodiac's cards. And it might be you're hesitating on a new beginning, Taurus, or you're not sure how to start that new beginning. And maybe you're afraid there's no manifestation in any of this scenario where you actually come to some option of getting out of your head or not or dealing with a situation where there's not going to be anything to work on or there's no chance of working something out and look at that there's still there might not be any genuine news to talk about like look these two people are coming here and nothing's happening in between them with the magician reversed right here okay this person's hesitating and this person isn't saying anything so nothing's being created Right? It's like almost this person's afraid of a relationship and this person over here just doesn't know what to do. Like they're waiting on this person, this person's waiting on them. And because of that, there is no manifestation with the magician in the middle. He's just sitting there, like, trying to be the middleman, but they're both talking at the same time. That, like, nothing can be heard. And he's just like, uh, I don't know who to listen to first. <laughs> oh my goodness. But, like, that's your reading for the beginning of December, I guess, Tauruses. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.